We've got Edwards, Super Edwards. Well, what a difference a couple of weeks makes. We are now nine points out of nine, three wins in a row, and three and two particularly good performances away from home against strong opposition in Brentford and Fulham. Particularly today, I don't think anybody really thought we'd be going for a win. I predicted a win, but I didn't really think we'd get one. Fantastic performance from the boys in all areas of the pitch. Two o'clock when the teams were announced, there was there wasn't the normal Twitter meltdown. Everybody was quite positive about it. It was quite a attacking lineup, which is what we've all been calling for. And it worked. I think, you know, it's mentioned a lot on the commentary that the best form of defence is attack. And it proved to be the case today. When you've got players like Cavalier, Acosta and Vyman interchanging as they did in the first half. Then you've got players like Ben Marshall backing that up and Dave Edwards. You've got the recipe there for an amazing attacking championship team. Wolves took the lead after about half an hour with Cavaliero set up by Costa with some really good pressing. Then half time I was thinking we can't really go on for much longer at 1-0. We're going to need a second goal and as soon as the second half started we started on the front foot, really did well and Vyman with a very good finish to make it 2-0. Understandably Fulham came back at us and we defended quite well and it was a bit unfortunate by the sounds of it, a deflected goal to make it 2-1 and then they had a bit of a sustained spell of pressure after that. However, the defence did a good job at containing the Fulham attacks. They didn't really threaten Carla Kimi. There were 25 minutes to go, 2-1, Fulham dominated possession. They were having a few chances and it looked as if they were going to equalise, which as a Wolves fan, you've watched it for years and years and years, you expect that to happen. But they stayed strong. Lambert made a key change, which was to bring on Sice for Marshall to just shore things up and almost immediately... Dave Edwards scored the third goal uh, with about 20 minutes to go. A little tap in. Again, Costa forcing the ball across. Two assists for Costa today. I think he's got to be a strong contender for man of the match there. So I think today has taught us that Wolves are able to create chances and are able to play attacking football. Lee Evans, I think, has got to be in the team now for the rest of the season. I think he's been really good this week and has proved himself to have stepped up to the championship he could be a star for us next season despite only having 30 percent possession we created a number of chances throughout the game despite conceding it didn't feel like we were going to drop any points once we went 3-1 up i was fairly confident that we'd have enough to see it out so now after the game we're up to 16th place which is where we were when we played liverpool so we've sort of i think a mixture of the cup injuries a defeat to chelsea and things like that things didn't quite go our way for a couple of weeks we're back up to now the level that we were we are five points above the relegation zone now with a game in hand so if we win that that's eight points and with such a short time left in the season you'd imagine that we'd be okay results went our way as well today with both Forrest and Blackburn drawing early on and then Burton and Wigan losing. So Wolves can head into the international break now with their heads held high. We can all look forward now to an April and a May where we should be safe. We can press on and some of the players can stake their claim for next season. I would keep Paul Lambert. I think he's proved in these last three games that he's got the ability to get the best out of these players. Myself included, I think the way that the fans reacted to the Rotherham win, I think now is a little bit naive and a little bit unnecessary because what we needed was a win and they grounded out. We haven't won for so long, we haven't won at home for ages, it was just about getting the result. To be honest, looking at the table, we've just gone ahead of Blues, we're five points behind QPR. Let's just go and get as many points as we can and let's push up the table. You know, realistically, we're going to win... If we say we win half of our games, if we play really well now for the rest of the season, that gets up to 60 odd points, which, as I said in last week's video, that would be tremendous. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe as well. I've really enjoyed making these little videos recently, and during the international break, I'm going to hopefully be making different type of Wolves videos, because it's going to be a couple of weeks now without a video. The next match is on the 1st of April against Cardiff. Will be a video for that as well. So make sure you subscribe as to not miss it. Come on.